so um as far as i can tell this is sort of the, the sort of gameplay um sort of the demo of the game in the sense that this is how the game will, will work um without the blockchain elements uh, there's a whole bunch of other elements i think that we'll sort of see as, as we go on so you can see this is running through um itch io um and uh, the developers called called golem house which is um why uh, that's the url so so it's sort of like a tutorial without the blockchain sort of like a free-to-play version as games now like um splinterlands has had it i think always Axie Infinity obviously has it with the sort of origin um, version now. So it's sort of a free to play non blockchain version, which gets you a feel of what's going on here. Um, so we can see here some of these elements coming soon here the arena, the pets. Um, uh, this, this is, I guess, why they see themselves as a metaverse because these sort of things are going to come through. Um, but we're just going to look at the uh, clans up there. Uh, we're just going to look at the basic sort of combat. So, Adventurer's uh, Shop, uh, we can see here. Um, so this is basically the sort of gameplay uh, UI. Um, so we can see here what's going to go on there. Eight, eight enemies, three levels, uh, three waves. So, um, so basically there is a, it's an auto play. So I clicked it once to start it off and then it's just like auto playing through. So this is why I say it's like an idle game. We can see here I'm bashing them um, and my health is going down. That's the red line. There's another blue line, which we'll see why that's useful in a minute. Um, so basically I'm not doing anything. I'm just sort of going through this. You can see what's going to happen, which I don't really like in tutorials <laughs> that you die, uh, but there is a reason they actually did this fairly well, I think. So we come back to life um, and now we go into the inventory. Um, so we can see here, I've got some inventory stuff. Um, so I can um, place this in, it's sort of highlighting. Um, I don't know if I can put that one in here, yeah, maybe. Okay, so now I can try again. So obviously the same thing is going to happen, idle game, but now I've, I'm, you know, I've, as we expect in these sort of uh, idle RPGs, I've sort of leveled up my gear. So now I'm going to sort of um, zoom through, power through this um, situation. I've got a reward there, got some, got 12 gold as well. And I also have a, um, this, this UI is not great, but um, uh, I've got a, I've got a, actually it's really not great. Um, I can't see if this is better than the one I've got. I don't think it is. Um, okay. So. Now, um, here's to level up. So now I've leveled up my character, um, and now I can go on the another, next adventure. Now I have these options here, so I can have this wi wide slash, slash them all, and then you can see there's like a mana sort of system um, sort of building up here. I can have, I can put, go and put on a shield to, to defend myself. There's healing here at six mana. Um, I think this is the mana building up. I know, I'm not quite sure where the mana is building up, actually. This one here, rend, strike your fellow flow, leading, leaving and bleeding. I uh, missed, missed that one. Um, okay, so that worked out well. Um, so now, uh, have I got anything here? So this is a hand axe versus a war sword. So the war sword's better. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm a total expert in this. Uh, so I think this is sort of leveling up here, some of these. Um, I've got 14 gold. Can I go and do any leveling? No, it's finish it off now. So off we go. Um, so I do have, you know, some abilities. It's not, it's not idle in the game that actually I do have the ability to sort of, uh, you know, shield myself or, or use some of these um, sort of magic uh, powers. Um, if it gets too low, I might have to heal myself. Oh, this is the magic here, isn't it? On the on the, the manor on the other side, so I might heal myself there. Um, So she's the baddie. Look, could I try and rent her? I think. Uh, there we go. It just disappeared. Um, so uh, create a new character. So you can see she's got loads of loads of power. Um, so so there we sort of go. Um, and, and I think you know that was sort of quite you know sort of simple in in, in a way. Um, and obviously every uh, not every game necessarily can can do that in in a simple way. But the way this sort of game is playing out in terms of the visual. Uh, look and how the UI works. Um, it's sort of quite simple to do that as just a sort of hosted on 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 a um, on a browser. And you sort of get the idea, you know, how how these things are going to um, uh, kind of play out um, over time. Minting stuff. Um, so 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 I think that's a, that's a, and also as a sort of marketing tool, you immediately you know you're not reading a white paper. You can read the white paper you want clearly, uh, and that will tell you a bit more about the sort of meta game. Um, but you can just get an idea. Also, quite like the artwork. You know, decent. Um, you know, it looks like a you know a, a well put together game. It's clearly not <laughs> like some blockchain games we've seen, sort of like a, a white paper looking for funding. Um, you know, there's something going on here that you can play. Obviously, it's not a, not the deepest game. It's just a demo. Um, but I, I'm surprised that more blo uh, blockchain games sort of don't take that route. Um, even if you know, potentially you could imagine 
people doing simplified versions to show gameplay, but even if it's the gameplay is not going to be actually actually like that. I mean, we I guess we've seen a bit of that with games like um, so very ambitious games like Star Atlas, which are you know going to take years to build, but they have sort of sort of mini games um, that are running maybe using the assets. Their NFTs are live already, um, but just sort of doing something that is there is a, a there is something you can play. Um, while you're waiting for all the stuff in the background, the, the, <laughs> for the roadmap to be sorted out, I think I think that's something worth um, doing. So anyway, um, uh, yeah, so check it out. I'll put the link in um, if you want to uh, see what is happening at Eden Soul. Thanks for watching the video. See you again soon.